Hey, Jeff Love here again, and today I'm going to be talking about the DIY kits that we sell for the people that are trying to build their own outdoor wood boilers. Uh, in, the, in another video, I kind of go over the areas of interest or importance that I feel that you should take into consideration when building your own wood boiler. But I've also come up with kits to simplify the process for you so you can build your own wood boiler. And I've taken, I, I think, the hard part out of how to make it work. So I have four kits here that I have done. One is my DIY kit door uh, with door. It's a 24 inch door with air cooled and it's uh, 24 by 24. Um, it has everything kind of done to it already. Uh, basically what the kit comes with is the actual door. So now that I've taken the fan cover away, you can kind of see the guts of it. Uh, and what it is, I'll show you, it's kind of like this, and I'm just going to mount this, and it's mounted to the door. So what it is, is you've got your fan, you've got your laminated solenoid, you've got the wire, you've got your uh, spring and everything that you need to ensure that it goes up and down properly, a rubber flapper to air tighten it off. Um, and what it does is that you simply will use this aquastat to tell it when to open and close and turn on the fan. And this aquastat is a Ranco. Uh, it's, it's a very inexpensive but very, very accurate device and I, I'm starting to love these. They're very simple to program um, and with the kit also comes with a stainless steel immersion well um, and that will simply send the probe into your water jacket and this will connect to your fan control and that's really it. This is not waterproof, it is water resistant, so I do recommend you place this in an area that is uh, kind of out of the weather. Uh, the cord is about 12 feet long. So with these kits, um, and they're different sizes, and the reason I got this is some people might want to use their own Aquastat or have their own door design. So that's what the kits are kind of designed for. And the, the four kits is with the door and everything, the Aquastat, the fan, the laminate, so everything's figured out for you. You follow the simple directions that are here, um, and that's it, and you're ready to go. You just gotta mount the door. Simple door uh, mount, uh, simple. Um, you just take a piece of steel, mount it out, attach a bolt, there's your hinge, all done. Then I got to the next level, which is a DIY kit complete without the door. Now the DIY kit complete is simply this. So you mount this onto your door or some people mount it on the back of the boiler. I do recommend to the door. The doors need to be air cooled or somehow cooled so they don't warp or twist. Um, and the doors that I do sell are air cooled. And the fan is what cools the door, the air chamber. Then you go into the next kit, which is a DIY kit Aquastat. Now what that is, and I'm going to go back to this again, is you're going to take off the fan. Because some people want to use their own fans or a bigger or larger or smaller fan. So you're going to take off the fan. But you're going to get the laminated solenoid, the bracket, uh, the bracket that actually holds the fan as well, the, the spring, uh, the fan cover to keep a nice tight air seal, the wire, and also the Aquastat with the dry well is all included to do that. Um, everything's in there again the directions to wire this all up. And then you got the DIY kit which is just the simple basics of it all. So at this point someone's going to be using their own Aquastat, they're going to be using their own fan and all they want to do is get the bracket, the laminated solenoid, the wire and the fan cover and the springs to make everything work properly and that's all they need. So those three stepping levels uh, or excuse me four so just to the the bracket the laminated solenoid, the spring, the fan cover, and the wires to hook it up is in the DIY kit. The next step up is that plus the Aquastat in the dry well. And the DIY kit complete, everything included, including the Aquastat and the, the well. And also, um, the, now you want the door as well. That goes in the DIY kit complete with door. Okay, that's how simple it is. Um, it does work great. I get a lot of responses that it does work good. The only other thing I'm going to point out is that you do have some uh, things that you should be replacing yearly, which is, or yearly or every other year, is this rubber flapper needs to stay very loose and flexible to ensure that no air travels in. You get runaway stoves and um, stuff like that. So you need to have a nice clean, and it makes it burn and smoke much, much less if you have a good flapper on there. 
Also, there's a there's a uh, fire gasket on the back of the door here, which is a one inch fiberglass braided rope. Um, most boilers should have their fan or the ropes uh, changed yearly too. So, but that's it. Besides that, mount it. And you're ready to go. Build your own boiler. Easy. Uh, leave us comments of any areas that you'd like us to work on or suggestions of videos that you would like us to uh, show you, and we'll be glad to try to help you. Thank you, and we appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.